Hey guys, I'm sure you've seen the good old Gavin's at it again in his attempt to wind up teachers no end. Um, exams have been pushed back by three whole weeks. So the government can give themselves a big pat on the back and say they've done something, they fixed the problem of schools. Um, not being delivered in person for five whole months. They pushed exams back by three weeks. Um, anyway, you can see I'm super happy about this. I'm a big fan of Gavin Williamson, obviously. Um, but what does this mean in reality? So I don't have to tell you that school was delivered online from March through to September when we went back and schools are continually facing whole school closures, bubble closures, individual students being off sick with winter colds which they have to get tested for. Um, and to make up for all of this disruption, to make up for the, the missed learning, to make up for the fact that you can't do practicals or the, you know, in maths you still have to learn everything even though you haven't had access to a teacher. To make up for all of this, exams are going back by three whole weeks. Um, so for A-level and GCSE exams this is going to have an impact obviously. Probably not the impact the government thinks it can do but now the government can happily tick a box to say they fixed the problem. Anyway, for GCSE exams in previous years the timetable's actually been nice. Not like amazingly nice but nice ish because you had two weeks of exams and then you had half term which gave you a little bit of a break which gave you a little bit of a recoup um, and then you went back to two weeks of exams. All the exams for GCC are now starting after the May half term. I have heard a rumour that there will be one maths and one English exam before half term and traditionally the modern foreign languages speaking exams happen a couple of weeks earlier anyway so we can expect those probably before half term. The exam timetables haven't come out yet. Um, this pushing exams back by three weeks has been talked about for ages and it has only just been announced. Um, kind of ending months of speculation but we kind of knew it was happening anyway. Um, the reason is because timetables are very very tight we have to get papers marked and sent back and moderated before the deadlines for starting college and for starting university and moving them back by three weeks makes things very very tight so that half term break in the middle of GCSEs has now gone um they are going to be straight through I don't know because it's some time to have haven't come out yet whether they're going to artificially engineer a break in there for you whether they're going to spread things out um, because exam timetables for GCSE are traditionally pretty brutal with three four hours exams of written um, written exams a day. Exam timetables for A-levels are generally more spread out because you have less subjects the exams are still spread over a month however the problem with this is that they have only pushed Results stays back a little bit. So what I think is going to happen with the A-level timetable is that it's going to be squashed. So instead of exams being spread over five or six weeks, for A-level you might generally have one or two exams a week. You might actually see that accelerated quite a bit more to maybe like four or five exams a week, having a couple of exams on the same day, which they have generally avoided before. And because they have to get them done a lot faster because the exam days are still happening in August. Exam days have not been pushed back that far. A level results exam day is going to be at the beginning of the week on the 24th of August and then GCSE results day is going to be on the Friday the 27th of August. Now just because exams are later does not mean you can leave your revision until later because um, we actually need to do more revision this year to, to make up for all the time that you were home learning. Um, so, good luck with this guys. I'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way, partly because I love you and I would do it for you anyway, and partly because there's nowhere else for me to go, ever. Anyway, we're all gonna be fine. The pandemic will be over soon and everything will be back to normal. Ouch.
This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. 